Hey, hey, I'm Mindy Kinnis. This is The Daily Rage. Let's take a look at the indexes because most of them right now are non-trending. In other words, the ADX over here is lower than 20. All of these in red are 20 or below. The only one that is currently trending is the Dow. 23, I mean, not a very high ADX, but it'll work for a trend. But even it is having trouble getting above this daily cloud. Now, you can see that from way down here, yes, it has like worked its way higher over the last few days, but you're going to see this pattern a lot in today's movement and in recent days. Reason being is it's not super, super strong. <laughs> so in other words, what happens is it will work its way higher, 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 and then just drop because it can't sustain what is happening. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ because that very much happened today. This pop drop. <laughs> Ending in a doji on the daily candle. Well, at least right now, it's only 1.30 Mountain Time. So there is still about half an hour of the regular trading session. One additional hour for the futures. But... It's not very trendy because it's having a hard time just getting going in either direction. We'll do the S&P next. Very similar looking pattern to the NASDAQ. In other words, pop, little bit of sideways, and then drop. Not looking much better. Very, very wicky candles on the daily. What does that mean? It means indecision. It means it's more difficult to trade. And finally, we'll end with the worst one. This ADX is only 12.36 on the overall contract of the RTY. That's the Russell. And again, similar pattern here of pop and drop. This one, though, back into the cloud today. About ready to hit that parabolic SAR dot, indicating more down direction. So what all of that means is just to be very careful in these current times because there's often not a lot of follow through. Now, overall, on the Russell, today looks pretty solid to the downside. But for most of them, it would be a little bit of move and then nothing or retracement. So just make sure you're taking your profits, you know, in the appropriate places and not missing out on the opportunities that come along when something great happens like this. But make sure to keep your stops really close or move them into profit when you can so that you can take advantage of some of that move. I'm Mindy Kinnis. Thanks so much for watching.